Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Thanks to Wendy at Westwind Productions, we continue our World War II review week with a look at Forged in Battle's 15mm SDKFZ 251C command set. Forged in Battle's 15mm SDKFZ 251C command set consists of four resin half tracks with white metal parts for the crew, MGs, and radio antenna, and comes in at £19.50 or around $31 US dollars. That's about £4.90 or $7.80 US dollars per armoured fighting vehicle. The command set consists of variants of the Alf C Hanamag half track produced up until September 1943 and includes two designation 3 radio communication vehicles, one designation 11, a mobile switchboard and cable laying vehicle, and one designation 8, an armoured ambulance. Each resin half track is individually sculpted and cast on a 5 by 2.4 cm base with sockets for the three sprues of cast white metal parts. Sprues consist of one-piece MG-34 and armoured gun shield, rear anti-aircraft MG-34, a mount with crew. No decals are included. As you can see, the resin half-tracks are very cleanly cast with no flash or mould lines. The two radio variants are differentiated by various sturge items hung on the exterior of the hull. Detail is accurate, crisp and clear with no obvious emissions or errors, other than a towing mount, despite what appears to be a vacant space tooled to accommodate it on the lower rear hull. Frontal armour, armoured air inlets, relocated stowage bins and modified rear mudguards are all accurately modelled. By contrast, the white metal parts have quite a lot of easily removable flash and some quite apparent mould lines on some of the crew. Clean up and build was straightforward and the whole lot only took about 30 minutes. It may be just a sample scent but the white metal parts are a little brittle so take care when bending the aerial into shape or fixing the rear MG. Warming the metal on a radiator helped, but I was still able to break one of my MG34s on the fragile rear mount. Fortunately, there was a replacement, so it's no big deal. Oh! As you can see, the finished models are very presentable. One downside are the relative dimensions. Coming in at 5.2cm in length and 2cm in width, forged in battles half tracks are shorter than their historical counterparts. This becomes apparent when compared with the opposite end of the spectrum, like the Plastic Soldier Companies or Battlefront's SDKFZ D half tracks on the left and right respectively, which one might reasonably be expected to be present on your table. Compatibility and the cast resin base aside, which may or may not be an issue for you, I'm not going to comment any more, the crews sit well with Battlefront's range and I would go so far as to say that the relative figures are interchangeable. Attention to detail is excellent. The Funkgerate radios are accurately represented at this scale in the communication half-track and I've chosen to model pre and post 1942 variants after which the aerial frame was omitted. The armoured ambulance has the fighting compartment characteristically covered with a tarp, but it would have been nice to see the water canisters typically carried modelled on the rear armour. The armoured telephone vehicle accurately models the cable laying mast and drum for ca telephone cable coil on the front right fender, and presumably a precious Enigma coding machine within the fighting compartment itself. Overall, if you can overlook the relative difference in dimensions, Forged in Battle's unique SDKFZ-251C command set makes an excellent addition to any German armoured force. Whilst not having a definitive combat role on the table, Wargamers looking to accurately represent forward headquarters or logistical units in 15mm for games like Battlegroup Kursk or Normandy need look no further thanks to this affordable blister. And besides, I love flavour items like this so I've got to recommend. Thanks for watching.